Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. I'm Lawrence Ifine. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can add your Chinese shipping agent's address in your 1688 account. Okay? But before I go into the video, I would want to explain what this address stands for. Okay? Now, this address is actually the Chinese warehouse address of the shipping company that will be helping you ship your goods from China down to your home country. For example Nigeria after receiving your goods from your supplier okay it is their warehouse address down in China okay they will help you receive these goods package it and then ship it through cargo airline or through sea to your home country and when it gets to your country you'll be contacted that your goods is ready okay so this is actually the address in China where you need to send these goods let's say you are using your 1688 account to buy you need to add this address so that the seller will know the area and the province where these goods will be sent to and the particular location where these goods will be sent to that's the importance of the chinese address or the agent's address okay so before you add this address or before you do whatever you need to contact your shipping agent who is helping you to ship these goods to send you their address their warehouse address in china okay let's say uh, a procurement agent is helping you to buy let's say i am helping you to buy you need to contact the shipping agent you want to use and get their address and send to me i'll now add it or let's say you are using your own 1688 account to buy okay you need to add this address so in this video i will be showing you how you can add this address i'll be showing you two methods or two ways you can add this address in your 1688 account before buying so that when buying you choose this address as your shipping address okay now before then let me show you i have um i have this address sent to me by a client i want to help and buy okay she sent me this address this is the chinese um address here okay she sent me this address this is the chinese uh, the agent's shipping address she wants to use so i'll be using this address to show you everything practically okay first of all i need to log in into my 1688 account now i here i am on 1688 account and i'm currently logged off so first of all i need to log in into my 1688 account so for me to do that i need to click on login here okay i'll click on login okay it takes me to this page where i am meant to log in then i'll click on where i have 1688 okay i'll click here to put in my login details now in the first um in the first row i'll put my account details and then down below it i'll put in my password okay okay if i'm done putting my password i'll click on this particular button here this red button and login i'll click on it now i'm being logged in i choose chrome so i'm logged in now i'm logged in into my account now like i said there's two ways you can um or um add the shipping address to your 1688 account one you can add it when ordering a product and the second way you can add it when you are not actually ordering a product you can you can add it through your dashboard through your 1688 account uh, dashboard or you can add it when you are trying to place order immediately so i will show you the two methods now the first one if to add it through your dashboard you need to locate this button down which is where you will find your dashboard you click on that particular button now I'll click there it takes me to this page now on this page i need to locate this particular green button 
this green icon i need to locate it let me translate so that you see i'll translate you see is shipping address is shipping address so i need to click on it i'll click on it it takes me to this page now on this page this is where i need to add a new address as you can see these are addresses of people i've been buying for okay so here you need to click on new address okay to add a new shipping address now on this page this is where you need to add this address okay to add it you don't need to type this thing because you don't know the postal code you don't know there are and the area code so you can't choose all this what you just need is to get the address sent to you by your shipping agent okay by your shipping company in china so let me get the address i previously showed you i'll get to my notepad now I'm going to copy the whole address here i'll click and hold to highlight all i'll highlight down to where i have this phone number I'll highlight down to where I have this phone number then I'll click on copy okay I'll go back to my 16 account now to add this address I need to locate this area this particular section where it says copy your name and phone num phone address here okay so I need to click and hold there you can see copy appear I, I click on copy the address has been pasted if you look closely we see the address have been pasted so what do i need to do again i need to click on auto recognition to automatically add this address okay i click on auto rec recognition now you can see the address has been added so this is the full address as sent to me by um the person i am buying for so this is the shipping address i'll be using so now as you have added this address if you want to set it at the as the default address so that whenever you are buying that address will be chosen automatically you don't need to go and start choosing address again what do you need to do you need to click on this button here and set it as the default address okay now i have one more thing to add Another thing um, we need to do is, if you are buying, if you are using your, your hands to buy, there are certain instructions you need to give on this page. Now, every there are three things that are important in this address. One is name. One is name. Second one is phone number, the Chinese phone number. Third one is the area the shipping agents address in china now these three are very very important but then there's another thing that is important you need to do on the name section on the name name section is very very important you need to do it on the name section reason why you need to do that is to avoid your goods to get lost you understand there are some shipping companies that that will receive your goods or will receive a particular goods and if the name of the sender and the phone number of the sender is not written on the parcel they will reject the goods and sometimes the sellers might be unable to trace it or the express company that sent the goods might be unable to trace it and when you contact your agent they will tell you they don't know anything about the goods now to be on the safe side what do you need to do you need to add the name you are using to buy these goods on that particular name section here you need to erase this which came from your shipping agent's uh, address okay you need to edit it and add your name and phone number there let me show you with my name i just click there and then delete everything there and then i will include my name lawrence now on this lawrence i'll put slash 
then add my Nigerian phone number okay I'll add my Nigerian phone number as you can see now this makes it easy for the shipping company to identify the person that owns it now somebody might ask why adding it here why why is it that you did not add it on the full address section now the reason is because this particular section must be printed on the receipt of the goods that will be sent or that will be given to the express that will be sending it so everything that is written on the name section will appear on the parcel but if you are writing it here in most cases they erase it or if you are sending it if you are using it to um, if you are using the other message when you are placing order to send it some of the sellers doesn't give attention to other message okay so be guided properly now another thing you need to do on this area the full address section is to give the seller a kind of uh, information like this I'll type I put full stop here then I'll go on the second line I'll type in English while my keyboard translates to Chinese okay I type I say please remember remember to write my name to write my name on the on the parcel remember to write my name on the parcel then I'll open a bracket I'll add my name I'll add my name Lawrence then I'll put my phone number two three four I'll put my phone number and close it okay now at the end of this I'll say remember remember to write my name on the parcel then I'll put this and I'll now say otherwise and I'll say otherwise otherwise the goods will be rejected and returned to the seller i'll say thanks okay when you are done with this you are good to go you now click on save you now click on the save button down here you are good to go okay just save and the address has been saved if you watch the address have been saved and translated to english already okay so this is what you just need to do so this is the first um, method of adding the shipping address to your to your 1688 account now let me show you the second method now the second method is when you are placing order when you are trying to order so I will use these goods for example this particular product I want to order now order for my client I'll use it it said two pieces wanted two pieces I'll click on it to open it with Chrome If you receive this don't be afraid is network issue okay just click on this particular white this thing and drag it towards this section and you are good to go drag it okay now here I am on the product page so what you need to do is to add this product let me add this product to it says two two pieces 
I'll click on all that now. Now on this page, to add this address, I need to click on the existing address here. Click anywhere around here to add a new address. I'll click. It takes me to this other page. Let me translate. Now it's translated. So if you watch down, you see where you have temporary address and where you have new shipping address. For temporary address, maybe it's an address you don't want to use again. You just want to use it just for this particular order. You don't want to use it again. But if it is actually an address you will be using every time, there is need to save it. It will be saved in the 1688 account like you are seeing all these other accounts. Okay. So for you to add a new shipping address, you need to click on new shipping new shipping you click on it it takes you to this same page again as you can see this was the exact page where we added the former address okay so this is the other method in which you can uh, add a new address let's copy the address again and come back you see it is the same thing now click and hold and copy come back to come back to the dashboard I click and hold where it says copy your name and phone address I click on paste the address has been added I click on auto recognition again just the same thing we did in the first method of adding address you see the same thing the address has been added so if you follow the first method we used, you will still get to this place. And at this particular page, it is still the same instruction I gave in the first, um, in the first method we used that you will still follow to guide you through this particular one. So at the end of the day, like I said, you can set the address as the default address. Okay. If this video helped you, please do well to subscribe this channel. Hit on the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I post new videos, okay? Don't forget to like this video. Also, don't forget to share. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye.